Yo, well, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video. Bit more positive today, guys. I know I've done two videos back to back where I've been kind of moaning. A lot of people in the comment section crying big boy baby tears, you know, complaining about me, complaining. Those people kind of need to Google hypocrite. I'm sorry to say, guys, but if you're complaining about me complaining about a video game, go read a dictionary. Look up the word hypocrite, and that's ultimately what you are. So, the gameplay in the background, guys, is just me farming Blair. I actually used to know somebody at school called Blair when I was growing up. I've never heard of anybody called Blair ever since that time. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of trying to unlock Blair. Then I'm going to go and unlock Sharon, as I call her. <laughs> um, just because they're a lot easier to do, and... The title of the video is going to be something along the lines of, like, how to kind of, like, make the grind. Not as bad as kind of what Nexon have, you know, made it appear to be. They need to change a lot of things. I know all the... I can't really think of a better word, but fanboys of the First Descendant are going crazy. You know, they don't like any form of constructive criticism. It's, no, the game's perfect, guys. The game's perfect. You know, if the community continue down the path that everything is fine with this game it will be complete garbage nobody will be playing it in six months time when i mean nobody maybe less than ten thousand concurrent on steam let's use kind of that as a um, figure just like what i said about gray zone warfare i made a video being negative about that everybody shot me down everybody's saying i'm talking nonsense you're just a hater look at that game now it's completely dead because YouTubers hyped it up, got that paycheck or whatever, and yeah, th that that game now is pretty much dead and it'll never get out of early release, guys. It'll never release. That's kind of another problem as well with Steam games, like early release. They never release. You, you know, the early release get loads of money and then like all the development teams, yeah, fuck right off. And yeah, that that's pretty much it. So I get that a lot of people get upset because I'm talking negative about a game, what they enjoy, but it's not about just talking negative because I want to be negative on the internet. Like I said on my last video, you know, positive videos get more traction on YouTube. Do you really think people are searching for negative videos of a video game on the internet? No, they, they, they're searching for guides, tr tips, tricks, news, you know, on their favourite video game. That's where all the traffic comes from, guys. There's kind of a reason why all the big YouTubers who do it full-time, guys, make those types of videos, because they make way much more money than being a whiny little bitch, as people are calling me. Um, you know, making constructive videos about what needs to change in this game. So, anyway, the the gameplay in the background, I'm trying to get these, um, whatever you call them, can't remember now, 20% chance of dropping, um, which is... a you know, too bad, you know, one in five, so to speak, even though people go, it's not a one in five chance, it's a 20% chance, well, if you come, <laughs> if you're just looking at it very, very simply, guys, that's what it is, I'm not going to talk about the difference between a fraction and a percentage, it's ultimately the same, it's just how you put it across, but ultimately, guys, this grind isn't too bad, and kind of the way how to enjoy a grind is by doing something which you're going to actually be able to do, and then hopefully... By the time I've grinded Blair, Sharon, whatever other descendants I'm going to be able to do, Enzo is probably one I'm going to look at doing very soon because then you can go around and get loads of Kuiper um, for doing those um, encrypted vaults. I think Enzo is probably going to be my next. I think I'm going to do Blair, then I'm going to do Enzo. Once I've leveled up, um, what's the name, Freya. Um, I think how I'm going to approach this game now is that I'm going to try to level up every descendant to 40. I know you've only got so many descendant slots, so I'll worry about that later on, because again, if I'm enjoying the game, I don't mind throwing some money at it. Like I've said in other videos, even though I've been negative like the last few, I do enjoy the game. I like the core gameplay. I think it's fun. Um, however, the biggest problem with this game is the end game grind for the really, really hard to obtain stuff, because I don't like You've got to grind for something as a precursor to then to grind for something else and then grind for something else. I would rather have a system in place like, I don't know, maybe you have a wave system. So starts off at wave zero, you get to wave 100. I know there's wave systems, you know, formats in the game, but it kind of stops after a bit and then that's it, you've completed it. Well, what they should have is that, right, okay, if you start this at, I don't know, and you get to, I don't know, level one, it's a 1%, but then if you get to level 100, it's a 100% chance of dropping. 
you know, like a round-based system. Or alternatively, I know there's things in the game as well where you can kind of modify the difficulties, um, all that kind of stuff. Have it like that, but you've got certain scores what you've got to hit over a month. So say if you get, I don't know, 100,000 points doing a certain mission, right, okay, you'll get that at the end of the month. Ultimately, I'm just spitballing here, guys, right? I'm, I'm just trying to get some ideas out there and across there which could potentially make this game a lot better for the very, very unique gear, which is going to take a long time. It needs to take a long time. I understand that. But you've kind of got to make it so people will keep on playing the game. And I know there's a lot of people out there who like grinding. And I'm sorry to say, a lot of the people out there who like grinding are the people who aren't buying anything. You know, they're not bothered about buying a catalyst. They're not bothered about buying, you know, anything in the game which is going to give you, you know, more stats on the game. I've already bought an energy activator, a catalyst. So I've got more module capacity. I've bought the things in... I can't remember what they call off the top of my head. I've, I've bought the things where you're putting your modules on and it halves them in price. Or points, module points, whatever you want to call it, what it's called. I've already bought all that, guys, you know. Just because I can't be arsed grinding for it. You know, and obviously some of the stuff you can't even grind anyway. Um, like the 50% reduction in module points. You can't grind that. So I don't mind spending money on the game. But the people who are kind of moaning at me, moaning about that the game's too grindy, are the people who next on... Don't really give a shit about, guys, because all you're doing is grinding. You're playing the game. You're costing them money to run the server. You know, the people who next time are going to be bothered about are people like me who are a lot more casual on the game who just think, fuck it, I don't care. Let's spend 20 quid on this. Let's unlock Ultimate Bunny because I can't be asked to grind it. So what Nexon have got to do is kind of balance it out so that true free-to-play people who are never going to spend money on the game continue to play, you know, to keep it relevant. But then they've also got to keep people like me interested who... Yes, I'll play the game, I'll enjoy the game, but I'm not just going to play one game and nothing else. I'll play this game as part of my rotation of video games. Um, so they're kind of going to want to keep me interested because I'm the type of person who would be like, all right, oh, cool, this new Descendants come out because obviously they're going to add new Descendants, they're going to add new weapons and all that kind of stuff. And, and they're going to add, you know, probably DLC content as well in the game. I'm one of those people who will just come out and think, wow, that Descendants really good, right? Okay, 20 quid, no problem, I'll buy it. But the free-to-play people, you know, the ones who are saying, oh, yeah, I don't mind grinding. Yeah, grind's great, Simon. Stop moaning about the grinding. I'm sorry, but Nexon don't give a shit about you guys. I'm sorry to say it, but they really don't give a shit. They'll never come out and say that politically because it's just political suicide for them. But trust me, they care about the money. They don't care about anything else, guys. You know, they don't care about really how many people are playing the game. They've just got, obviously a number in mind, what this game should generate per week, per month, whatever metric they're going to use. So I get people like grinding, but Nexon have only got the grind as bad as what it is because they want people to give up and they want people to spend money on the game, which, again, if I'm enjoying the game, I'll do that. But a lot of people who are moaning about me, moaning about the grind, again, hypocrites, <laughs> they don't really care about you. You know, they need people who are going to throw money at the game. I'm one of those people. So Nexon... Yes, you might see all the stuff on the internet from the fanboys defending the game, saying, oh, we like a game. Yeah, you kind of need to listen to the people who are actually spending money on the game, which, typically speaking, I can't say this as a fact because it's not, but typically speaking, the casual player base are the people who are going to spend money because they just want to shortcut stuff. Let's be real. With this type of a game, again, it's not everybody who's going to do that. But the vast majority will be like, ah, I, I can't be all spending 10 hours of my time grinding, you know, this Descendant. I know what I'm going to do. I'll just spend 20 quid and buy it. So, yeah, the way I have to enjoy this game, ultimately, guys, is that just grind the Descendants. They're a lot easier to grind. And then hopefully as you're going through that grind, you'll pick up these really, really difficult things. So then you're not grinding for something to grind for another item. I'd rather have just a... I don't know, a 0.2% chance of dropping something by doing one activity so I can repeat it time and time again instead of having an overly complex system of, right, I've got to grind this amorphous material or whatever you want to call it, and I've only got, I don't know, say a 50% chance of dropping that. So once I've dropped that, which has got a 50% chance, what I'll do, I'll stack 10 of them up because I don't want to be messing about doing that again. And then what I've got to do, out of those 10 things I've already got at a 50% drop rate, 
I've got to then use those to be able to get something after doing, I don't know, one of the Colossi, which only has a 6% chance of dropping. So if you don't get it, you know, doing it 10 times, which you've only got a 6% probability, so the likelihood is you're not going to do it, then you've got to go all the way back to stage one. That just doesn't work for me, guys. I'd rather just have a more simplistic system. Right, okay, you can get this item, but it's got a 1% chance, a 0.5% chance, a 0.25% chance, or it just drops from a random mission from a random enemy, which, again, I know there's stuff like that. What can, what they call it, mission monsters or something like that? I know it can work like that. So at least have something in where it comes from a mission monster on everything in the game. Just so then I can go, right, okay, I'm going to do this. I don't want to mess about doing this outpost, which has a five-minute you know, timer. And then I've got to do it by infiltrating successfully, which requires a descendant, which, again, if I'm doing it true free-to-play, I've got to grind Sharon. Yes, Sharon's fairly easy to get, but, again, it's still a grind. So you've got to get Sharon. Then you've got... There's four or five different things you've got to grind in order before you can actually get the item. But even with grinding those items... If you're not lucky enough, you're going to have to take a step back and then grind the previous item to get more of that to then enable you to get the next item. It just doesn't work for me. Give them some mission monsters. I don't just just do something. I haven't got the answer. I haven't got the answer. I'm sure the community will have an answer. So if you've got the answer, leave a comment. Let me know. You know the best comment with kind of how they could maybe change the grinding system. I'll pin it as the top comment, and you can all have a healthy debate in my comment section. But please. Keep it friendly. I've already had people, you know, saying things which I can't say back on YouTube. You know, if you think if you're going to say something bad about how I look, it's really going to affect me when I'm 74 year old. I couldn't give a shit, guys. Honestly, I really couldn't. I'm far past that. But again, I'm going to keep on being outspoken about this game. And it's not just because I dislike the game. I really, really like it. And I think if they tweak a few things, especially with the end game grind... It'd be absolutely fantastic, and it'd be my main game, and I'd play this game for a hell of a long time. So please don't get frustrated with what I'm saying. It's all constructive. Yes, I know I may say things what might rile people up, but come on, it's the internet, guys. You know, if people get riled up now just over the littlest thing, so God help them, you know, when they disagree about something um, with me on the internet. So anyway, I look forward to you know reading your comments, guys. Um, there'll be more outspoken content, so to speak, but. Again, as I'm unlocking all these descendants, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning them. Like the Freya game playing in the background, guys, I've got no idea how to use her. Like I've said, I don't watch other guide videos from other YouTubers. You know, like the HP stacking thing. I learned about that because there were comments saying, what are you doing stacking shields, you moron? You, know, you need to put HP modifiers on. And then kind of when I had a thought about it, I thought, right, the shield regenerate is absolutely garbage. They need to rework shields because it doesn't... You know, it doesn't benefit you more than just stacking HP. I was like, wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. And then everybody were telling me, oh, well, just go and watch some other YouTubers. I'm like, I don't want to do that because it spoils it for me. Um, and again, I don't chase meta or anything like that. So anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate your time um, watching my video. It's really, really humbling. You know, like my videos get over a 1,000 views each. So yeah. All right, take it easy. You all have a great week at work, school, whatever you're doing. All right, take it easy. Goodbye for now, my friends. Bye-bye.